today, oh, this is so hard because my head is gonna hit the ceiling. But I have two headsets brought to you today. <coughs> I'm going to be comparing them and seeing which one is better. Today we have the ER at Park headset, which is um, really good. And we have the PlayStation 4 Afterglow headset, which is this one. So let's start off with the first one that I've reviewed that I just showed you. It's the ER headset. It's a bit different. <clears throat> uh, the mic thingy, it has a clip in it right here. If you guys can see it, it's just this white thing right here. The, uh, the switch thingy mic or hearing which right now it's both and then you have the volume raisable thing <clears throat> now this headset is different between others because if you look see look at the size of this this is all first of all usually it won't be on this it would be just like hanging right here and it's pretty small actually considering yeah yeah and there's another problem like it, it does adjust pretty well <clears throat> but um we also on the inside right here it's a bit small and can hurt your ears other than that the sounds pretty good and so is the mic itself next up we have the afterglow ps4 headset instead of it being red this one is actually blue and like i was saying that this one it has it on its side right here okay which isn't usually normal, but this one has it how it usually is. Not on this, but actually like just right here. And it works really well. It doesn't have the clip. It's mic switch thingy is actually right here, which um, it's small. It's a smaller thing. The um, ear earmuffs are bigger in length are smaller in height well <laughs> no that doesn't make sense bigger in width and smaller in the white which means that this is as well really small it does have the um not as much i don't think as this one all all around this one is just like the comfort leather or if it's leather i don't think it's leather it's like something and then this one only has in here this one can really get cut in like See right here? Wait, I don't know if you guys can see it. This, what I have right here. Here, I'm turning my light. Here, this, this little thing is hair because it like pulls on your hair. Which is something I don't like. But this, it has this here. So you could just not worry. The um, pros and cons about this one is only because of this thingy. It's really, really hard. This doesn't like... You have to do it like a number of times for it to work. I don't know if that has to do with anything about like the console you're using or anything. And this is really small. However, it it does find a way to get a win over the Afterglow. Um, I don't know how, but it just does. This one definitely has a better mic. Actually, no it doesn't. The Like the better style of mic. Like, this is game, like, they're both gaming headsets, okay? Now, see this right here? Yeah, you can see that this one, this big, right, about this big, so the middle finger and the thumb finger, and then this one is only this big, middle finger and thumb finger. So this one is quite small, however, it does, it's a lot better. It works for, well, here, let me go grab something. One second. Now, this one, ah, she's in here. This one came, this red one right here, uh, has this, which is to hook up to the computer. This one does not come with it. However, I'm pretty sure it would work and stuff like that. Yeah, it would, because look, um, the same with this one. And also the plug-in I can actually compare. Um, this one has a better plug-in. This one, this one right here, which is the red one, 
This was a blue one. I like this one better. However, the red one is still significantly better. Only because the round on this one is thick and can't really fit in because I